Hello and welcome to Life Coding with Vitush Academy. Today I will show you the stats models uh, library from Python with uh, Jupyter and a few examples of how to use it. So let's start. In order to start, uh, we should import a few things import pandas, spd, import matplotlib, matplotlib.pyplot. Uh, SPLT import stat models stats models dot API SSM and percentage matplotlib inline shift and enter shift and enter once again so everything works okay and we didn't read what is there probably saying us that some things are like old or anything doesn't matter so sm dot tap datasets dot macro data macro data dot load pandas dot data mm. datasets like this yes so let's see what we get and we got some interesting stuff. Uh, the macro data, which is from 1959 to 2009, and we can get some additional documentation. If we want to get the documentation, we can write sm datasets dot macro data dot note. It comes in a really bad way to read. That's why we can write print. And this is something completely different. Number of observation 2003, number of variables 14, variable name definitions, name, you see it's per quarter, uh, quarter, one to four, real GDP, real consumption value, which is real personal consumption expenditures, and other really interesting stuff. Uh, here you probably don't have all the data like this. On the contrary, we only have like from the first five and the last five, which is a kind of sometimes unpleasant if you want to work with more data. So what you can do here is you can click PD options, display dot max columns equals none. And exactly the same for max rows. Shift and enter. And now if we call our data again, we would see unlimited data. All of our 202 rows, 203 with the zero. Okay. So further, what we can do further is we can build some kind of an index, which is making more sense than this one. So the index could be named index, and it would be PD index, SM, TSA, date tools, dates from range. And here we have two options. This is the first one, we can say 1959. Q eins, and then we can pa pass the length and the length will be exactly 2003 203 and we can do this and of course here we need equal and then we can say hey what's the index how does it look like yeah that's how it looks like another option is to say here pressing shift and tap will show us what are the arguments? So we can say start, we can say end, and it would give us the argument. So if we say 1959, let's call this out, uh, let's say from 1959 to 1999 Q lines, or even 1965 Q lines. Mm -hmm. Switch to the index would be. All of this. It would realize that we need the index this way. It would give us the Q lines. This is the, the first quarter. This is the second quarter. Mm, this is the third. This is the fourth quarter. 
and it sorts them quite nicely. Okay, uh, we want it with the length, so let's go the length. Yeah, and that's so far so good. Uh, let's simply decide to plot the whole thing to see what's going on there. Yeah, this is it. We have year, quarter, real GDP, all the things we can dream about. Quite not understandable. As I said, we are going to stay focused on the real GDP. So in order to go to the real GDP, we can say the same TSA filters. No, this is for later. We can say, uh, just to see the real GDP, we can say data frame, real GDP. Plot. And this is how the real GDP plot looks like. Yeah, so far so good. And now let's uh, take a look at the HP filter, which actually has in itself the trend and the cycle. So what does it mean? It means that it's a tuple. So as far as it's a tuple, it's, it receives uh, two values back. I mean, multiple values back. Let's see, A, B equals one, two. So A equals one and B equals two. We can also say one, two, and then we put, can put a list of 1,000, 1,022. And of course, if we run now, it would say the two minus values to unpack. So we can pretty much go like this and we can kindly see what is inside the C and we'll see that this is all the third part. So why did I say this? Because uh, now we're going to do some kind of a magic with the HP filter, which is a really interesting uh, property of the uh, of the stats model. So let's take a quick look and see what's going on. Uh, how to do it? We can do it like this, cycle comma trend, exactly like the one we do here. So cycle trend and they are SM, TSA, filters. Uh, HP filter, then data frame, data frame real GDP, real GDP. Ta -da. So we, what we can do is let's say just check a cycle and we'll see like the whole interesting list. We can do the same with the trend. Yes, this is how it goes. If you want to read uh, more about the cycle and the trend, how they are formed, here is this website, statsmodel.org. It's obviously the one of the library. So statsmodel.org, dev generated stat models, or simply search stat models, TSA filters, HP filter, HP filter. In Google, pretty much this is what we do. Returns, cycle, and trend. So let's go back to our code, this is what we got. So pretty much if we go here, we can say DF trend. That's the beautiful part. Whenever we say DF trend, we actually create a new one. So this way we would create one here. We can also, uh, let's see how it is named. Okay, oh, it's small. Yeah, okay, we'll fold this. And DF cycle equals cycle following and then we can say df plot and here we will see also our trend and cycle somewhere of course it's not very visible so what we can do is we can say df we want only to see the trend in the cycle it should be a list within a list and simply write trend comma cycle and then plot Ta -da. this is how it goes the trend is nice the cycle is okay. There is some cycle there. That's kind of okay. So what we can do further is uh, let's take a look at this one here. It's a bit strange from zero for to twenty five. Uh, we can ask ourselves why is this so, and the answer is starting here is because of the index. Okay, uh, 
we have created the index but we haven't added it to our document so how do we do it it's a big question here we can say to be like on the keyboard okay one more and here we can simply say index uh, not index but uh, df dot index equals index shift up then if we plot everything once again now this is different we have the years shift up shift up and shift up so let's finish with something really interesting let's say if we take this one and we want to zoom somewhere we may zoom for example within the year 19 85 of course it wouldn't like it because it's not a string yes this is it 1985 and we got the four cues we can also say 1985 up to the end or we can say 1985 up to 1994 it's a great year if you follow and yeah or even 1993 1994 in order to zoom yep that's pretty much all thank you for watching Vitoshi academy and have a great day bye